Hello everybody and welcome back to another tier maker ranking video with me Penta Hybrid. Uh, excuse me, I Joel, I adjust this microphone because it is far lower than it should be. Anyway, today on the tier ranking ranking with Penta. What are we going to call this? The ranking of Isaac? <laughs> something or something or other if it if it involves Isaac. Anyway, today we're actually going to be ranking as you can see here, all of the Angel and Devil Room items combined all together, Angel and Devil Rooms together, uh, and it doesn't seem like they're in a specific order, they are not. They are mixed up, which is great. There's actually duplicates. I'm realizing there are duplicates. If there become duplicates, I'm going to pass them up. If I forget about the fact that there are duplicates, I'm going to get a little tilted. There are actually... It might be just doubled. In fact, I'm pretty goddamn sure it's just doubled? Whoever did this? I don't know. Anyway, there's not this many items. We all know this. There's not this many items. It's a mess, but you know what? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where this, this goes over. So, it, start, it starts... At Guardian Angel, ends at the key. Starts at Guardian Angel. And I guess ends at Godhead here? Yeah, so we're gonna... There's no way I could delete this, but we're gonna stop at the key. And if I miss an item, y'all can yell at me, but I'm pretty sure they just added the items twice. Yeah, because it, start, it starts at Guardian Angel. Anyway. There's two voids as well. Whoever made this, you're really bad at doing things. Anyway, we're gonna just be ranking them... I'm not going to go into too, too super hyper meta detail on what the items do. If you're an Isaac fan, you are probably aware what these items do, so I'm not going to go into high detail on the stats of each item. If there's something that's hidden in the items, what's it called this god tier? I didn't set this up beforehand. And then this is S tier, A tier, B tier, no B tier, C tier, D tier, F tier, get out of my game there we go easy does it we're not gonna go into super super meta detail on what the items do if there's something that helps or hinders an item that is not common knowledge i will go over it i will address it uh as where it gets placed on the list but as far as it just goes we're just gonna list them all because that ra risk of rain video i did took an hour and a half and i can't imagine ranking you know 75 ish items of this taking an hour so we're just gonna go pretty much lightning speed this is guardian angel guardian angel it's really weird starting with guardian angel i'm just gonna put him in the middle as a baseline this isn't really the middle he's 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 upper middle guardian angel makes all your familiars and orbitals rotate faster uh does contact damage he's a good boy he makes certain builds completely viable, but as as a whole, if you walk into an angel room, you're never going to really be stoked to see Guardian Angel. Um, the Habit, the Nun's Robe, the Habit, used to be extremely broken in Vanilla Isaac and Wrath, uh, has kind of fallen off in Rebirth and Beyond. I wouldn't quite say it's a D tier, but it's definitely not one of the better items in the game. It can be good, it can be functional, all of these items can be good, but its use case is much smaller than it used to be, and therefore it is in the lower half of the average, and we might adjust that later, because the habit might get bumped up from something else down here. Anyway, here we got the Halo, the only quote-unquote all-stats upgrade available from these two pools, and therefore because it is an all-stats upgrade from these two pools, and we're weighing it against the other Angel Deals and Devil Deal items, kind of, I'm going to put it in the A tier. I do not think very highly of the Halo, but because it is an all-stats upgrade, still it is up at the top. Obviously, with the likes of Capricorn, stuff like that, Magic Mush, you're going to have those guys all the way up here. They're, 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 it's the worst all-stats up in the game, but it's an all-stats up nonetheless, and therefore it gets in the A tier. The Holy Grail grants Flight and spectral tears no spectral tears is uh, the dead dove so i think the holy the holy grail is just an hp upgrade in flight which flight is really good i'm gonna put it in the a tier below below or above the halo below or above the halo do i value a tears up and a small damage up over flight probably not 
Probably not. Flight is extremely valuable on your average run. Uh, it still remains to be one of the best abilities in the game. I think I'd take the Holy Grail over the over the Halo. On, on, on Nine times out of ten, I would probably take that. Holy Mantle. There's no conversation needed to be happened. Do I consider the item overrated? Yes, but still god tier item. No pun intended. One of the best items in the game. Hands down. Uh, top two defensive items in the game, depending on who you ask uh, and what you think people qualify as a defensive item. I think a defensive item is any item that can offer protection against damage. And if you hint, if you keep that as your criteria, Holy Mantle does have competition. But all in all, one of the better items in the game. Absolutely guaranteed take on most runs. I skip it just because I know I can win. That's not everybody's case. In the average user's case, if they see if they see Holy Mantle in an item room or an angel room, they're going to take it. Uh, Holy Water puts us in an interesting situation here because I can see value in all of these items, but I have to remain somewhat objective on their use case. Holy Ma Holy Water doesn't quite deserve to be in the bottom because it's an on-hit effect, so it cannot be in the top half because it's an on-hit effect that doesn't change the run in a meaningful way. I'm going to put it in D. I can't quite put it in F or get out of my game because I do respect Holy Water. I just don't... It's just not... So, it's, it's usually going to be your second choice. Most times it's going to be your second choice anyway. Next we got Lazrags. I love this item. I overrate this item. I will openly admit that I overrate this item. I'm going to put Lazrags in S tier. I think Lazrags is one of the best respawn items in the game, if not the best respawn item in the game. Uh, unless you have an unfortunate situation where you're playing as Dark Judas or Azazel, maybe. Like, respawning as Lazarus, or you're going for unlocks, of course. Respawning as Lazarus is usually going to get you some, some sort of benefit, uh, whether it's the tier multiplier or damage multiplier. Uh, your luck is going to go up. Lazrags, it's a respawn. It respawns you in the room, so you don't have to redo the room. Uh, very good item. I, I love this item to death. It, it is a crucial part of my streaks, because anytime I see Lazrags on a run, especially when you just start with it as Lazarus, uh, you look for a way to die. It's not like Nine Lives, it protects you. Like, Nine Lives, you can look for a way to die as Nine Lives, but nobody looks for a way to die. Or nobody doesn't look for a way to die with Lazarus Rags. The entire purpose of the item is to die. Anyway, the mind. We all know where mind is going. In fact, let's just get the soul out of the way as well. We all know where they're going. They're up at the top. Soul is actually better than the mind. I'll stand by that. Uh, this is this is the two. These are the two top tier defensive items that I would I would th that is a cause for debate. Um. Uh, and I will stand by both of them being equal, if not on certain runs Soul being better, certain runs Holy Mantle being better. Obviously the Soul cannot get you free curse rooms, but Holy Mantle prevents you from getting hit once per room Soul. Most runs, you don't even realize how much it's actually helping you, because it's helping you secretly without you knowing. Holy Mantle's one hit per room, Soul can basically one-shot a mom's heart fight. Like, people... Pe don't be sleeping on the soul. It's, it's 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 tied or even better than Holy Mantle as a defensive item. Dead Sea Scrolls. It's a weird one because I love, love Dead Sea Scrolls. I really do. I appreciate this item. I use it a lot uh, when I get the opportunity to because a lot of people don't realize that it's a 1 in, what, 28 chance to use Kamikaze. So you're basically getting a 1 in 28 chance to lose a Red Heart or a Soul Heart. But the other 27 uses are either going to be helpful for your situation or do nothing. So, like, and it's a much greater chance of it helping you. Like, you'll get flight for a room, you'll get a HP for a room, you'll drop a, a, a consumable for a room, uh, you get the Pac-Man for a room. Like, there's Dead Sea Scrolls is not as bad as people think it is. It's nowhere near as good because most, most other active items are going to be better. But as far as an Angel Room active item, I, I would say that this is in, 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 in the middle of the pack. Next up, we got the Miter. So people have a... For the longest time, people didn't understand what the Miter actually did. Same with Demon's Tail. They really didn't understand what it did. They knew what it did, but they didn't know how it did it. So every heart in the game has a chance to drop. 
So a red heart has like a 67% chance to drop or a 77% chance to drop, something up there. Eternal hearts have like a 0.5 chance to drop. Soul hearts have like a 10% chance to drop. Black hearts have like a 3% chance. Whatever it ends up being, it's all curated down to a, a an algorithm, right? The miter takes it so that every red heart that drops has a smaller chance of being a red heart or every heart that drops has a smaller chance of being a red heart and it kind of evens it out to be not quite 50 50 soul heart red heart but it, it, it weights it more towards being a soul heart it get, it basically is it re-rolls and gives you a second chance on a heart being a, a soul heart it's 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 a good item uh would i say it's top tier no would i say it's a tier no would i say it's upper b tier yes i would say it's upper b tier uh which then makes me really rethink the habit the habit has to go up i feel would i rather have the habit or dead sea scrolls I think I would rather have Dead Sea Scrolls. Depending on my active item, that's where it really comes in. If I got Minecrafter, I'm going to replace it with Dead Sea Scrolls 100% of the time. Well, not 100% of the time, Minecrafter. Depends on how many bombs I have, because Minecraft is a free bomb every room. Anyway, there's a lot of logic that goes into some of these items, and people don't really think about it when they pick up the items. Anyway, I'm going to keep it where it is, because I think it's a good item, but it's not a great item. Moving on to the Relic. Classic. Everybody loves this item. It's got a logarithmic scale... To, de to determine how it drops a soul heart it is not quite every four rooms it's like four three three four two four three some some kind of crazy nonsense like that all i know is every four rooms i'm guaranteed to get a soul heart whether it's four three or two every four rooms you will not go four rooms without getting a soul heart and that's kind of where people just judge it as it is one of the better defensive items in the game i would not put it above the halo but i would put it above everything else here rosary Rosary is interesting. Rosary is interesting because it's three soul hearts. Automatically gets it some kind of use case because it's three free HP. Um, but it makes your next active item guaranteed to be, or pedestal item, guaranteed to be the Bible. And if you don't pick up the Bible, it continues to appear from then on until you touch it. Um, so it is an interesting way to get a book for your bookworm transformation plus HP. With that argument, you could say it's up in the B tier. And you know what? I would agree that it's up in the B tier. I would agree that it's below the miter above Dead Sea Scrolls. I think the Rosary is good. I enjoy the item. I think it's a great item. Uh, but it is one of those where it's not quite up here, where it's like your chances of taking it over something else is much higher. Whereas like B and down, it's like your chances of taking it over something else is, you know, it depends on your run. I'd say, I think that's the really the real trick here is like God tier and S tier are items that like 90% of the time I'm going to take it no matter what else is there. And if it ends up being another God tier item, then I just choose the objectively better one, which we'll get into later. Uh, Sacred Heart, it's the best item in the game. There is no argument to be made. It is the best item in the game statistically run based you can't there's I've, I've i've said this a thousand times you cannot argue that it is not the best item in the game there are items that are just about there if not very close to equal the amount of impact that sacred heart has had on isaac since the vanilla launch or since the i should say the the wrath launch uh the amount of impact that it has had on the game is insurmountable it is the best item in the game it's full heal hp upgrade highest damage multiplier in the game 2.3 homing shots like it's 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 the it's the it's the, it's the king right it's the king of isaac items uh scapular is really good but it's situational as a min maxer i would put it in s as an average player i would probably put it in b and I would put it above the miter because this guarantees you a free hit, pretty much. Uh, what the scapular does, for those that don't know, once you get down to a half red heart, it gives you a free soul heart. Guaranteed, every time. So unless you take a full heart of damage from one heart to dead, this will save you. If at ever any point you go down to a half heart from damaging, this will give you a soul heart. So, scapular is very good. Uh... I'd put it above the Relic even. I really respect this item. I love the Scapular. Like I said, as a min-maxer, it's S tier. As your normal run, I would still put it in A. 
It's like a panic button. It allows you a free... It's like Holy Mantle Light, if you want to say, think of it that way. Trinity Shield is S here. Listen, there's a lot of people I've debated with in comments, on, you, on YouTube threads, Reddit threads, which I've done on a... It, whatever. Long time ago. Uh, different account, long time ago. But Trinity Shield is really good. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, I don't really need to argue that it's good. It's extremely good. One of the best defensive items in the game. Uh, same with Wafer. Wafer is also... It's going to go into the... It's not going to go into God tier. Uh, you might you might wonder why it's not going into God tier. It is above Trinity Shield. It's not above Trinity Shield. It's below Trinity Shield because you have to weigh it as an item. Wafer cuts all damage in half. Trinity Shield prevents damage, for, damage from whatever way you're facing. So, like, with good play, Trinity Shield can basically make you unhittable. Uh, Wafer, it just cuts damage in half. Really good for min-maxing, really good for just your average run. Uh, it's like a crutch for newer players. I love this item. Wafer's amazing. It's in the S tier, people. Don't be bitching at me about Ooh, he has the Wafer below uh, Trinity Shield. Uh, it's in the S tier. It's one of the best items in the game. We don't need to, we don't need to split hairs, alright? We don't need to split hairs. It's up there. I didn't put it in the F tier. It's it's up there. All right, let's calm down. Let's... We can all appreciate the items that are in these top two rows because really they're the best and the best. They're the best of the best. We haven't, made it, we haven't seen a devil item yet. These might be in order, actually. Yeah. So whoever fucked it up. But they're not in order. They're not in order because there's angel. There's a freaking. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Sensor, another very good defensive item. You'll notice a lot of these Angel Room's items are going up in the top rows. And once we get into the Devil Room items, we're going to have to kind of reorder things a little bit. But Sensor is so good. It's really good. It's also above the Wafer. <sighs> is it above Trinity Shield? I don't know. It's, it's probably like they're on top of each other. Really, if you see these two in the room, it comes down to like... Do I have enough damage to prevent or to kill enemies while facing them and not have to worry about anything? Or do I need to do do I not have crowd control and I need that extra little bit of slow effect? Because the sensor is extremely good. I think that's okay, and then this is where it gets real fucked up, because circle of protection is next, and it's another S tier defensive item. This is one of my favorite items in the Angel Pool. I absolutely love this item. I wish people would use it more. It is the Big brother of sensor because sensor slows things down. Circle of protection does damage and has a like 70% chance or something to fire a projectile that goes through it back at the enemy with homing. Super good. Super good. I'm running out of breath. I need to take a drink. 18 minutes of pure talking. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to put it above Trinity Shield too. I don't know, man. Trinity Shield is so good. I don't think people realize how good Trinity Shield is. Actually, Lazrags, because of my min-maxiness, I want to keep it at the top, but I'm, I'm going to put it down here for the average player. The average player pl probably doesn't have the min-max uh, agenda for Lazrags, but it is still an S tier item just because it's a free respawn. It's a free respawn on every account. A free respawn is good. Um, whether or not you use that for your own benefit. Yeah, I'm going to keep... I'm gonna keep that there. Now these two I actually get mixed up, but I know what both items do, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna say this is delirious. No, this is delirious. This is little delirium. This guy just turns into a bunch of delirium bosses. Get out of my game. I hate it. Get out of my game. Uh, in fact, actually, both of you get out of my game. This guy just turns into. It's a really good familiar. I, I, I know people are gonna get mad at me for putting it in there, but anything associated with like these, just get one of them spawns. A freaking delirium boss that fights for you. One of them is a familiar that just transforms into random shit that can hurt you, can't hurt you. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. I hate it. We're coming into the, the second of the big three. The second of the big three. The crown of light. And God is it close. God is it close. When crown of light was put into the game, it was the first item. It was the first and only item that made me think it was better than Sacred Heart. And I thought that for about a week, 
of using it because it is it is it is so close to being better than Sacred Heart. But again, you lose the effect when you get hit per room and it's still only double damage at full HP. So and on a Soul Heart run, Crown of Light is really really it gets it's god tier but you still lose the effect if you get hit on a room. Sacred Heart is always multiplying every single damage output you do at a 2.3, regardless of if you get hit or not. And that's where I really had to weigh it down, because I love Crown of Light. It had potential to top Sacred Heart as the best item, and I think they were going for that. I think they were trying to make Crown of Light the best item in the game. And it is very close, but it, it does not top Sacred Heart at all. Uh, Holy Light is just really good. God, there's so many good items in the sky, in, in the angel pool. People need to start doing angel room runs more. This is this, this is this is more of like a pride thing for me at this point because I'm showing off what all these items can potentially do for your run. <laughs> We've done like 20 items so far, more than, and there's only one in the D and one in the C. <laughs> Giggity, one in the C and one in the D. Everything else is on the top half of the run, uh, top half of the rankings. I have yet to put anything in F tier. Angel pool's good, y'all. I don't think I'm going to put anything in the F tier on this. Yeah, I am. Never mind. Because there's there's a couple things that I don't think need to be get it, get out of the game, but they're going to be F tier. There's definitely some F tier items. I, I just realized that. Uh, Holy Light. That's a tough one. It's extremely good. But it has a flat proc chance. It's not weighted on luck. One of the few items, one of the few tier effects in the game that is not affected by luck, and therefore I cannot put it too high because even if you have 100 luck, it still only shoots out like one in three tiers. It's like a one-third chance to take effect or something like that. It's flat. But it's a triple tie. It's a 3x damage multiplier on the beams of light. That does piercing. That does crowd control. It's really good. But I think defensively, which is pretty much the entire A tier at this point, I think I don't know what I rather like it comes down to run, would I rather have all of these items over Holy Light? I think I would I think I would I think I would take Flight, Trinity Shield, and Lazarags over Holy Light on my on my average run. If I have no damage output, this is gonna go up here, but like on, on your average base stat run, first angel room, second or third floor, you get the lucky chance to get it on your third floor. You really don't need triple damage beams of light, but they will help you. But like, at that point, you're still building your. I don't know, man. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it at the top of the B tier, and I might regret that. Pajamas. I always forget pajamas is in the angel pool. I always forget it's in the angel pool. But, I don't know if it's... It's a full heal and four soul hearts. I think... It's good, but it's like... Eh? It doesn't have that flash in the pan. Oh, Immaculate Conception. Let's actually get Cambian Conception here as well. Cambian Misconception. Let's get both of these and do them at the same time. Cambian, extremely good, but requires you to get hit, but its on-hit effect is guaranteed to drop you demon babies, or uh, like devil familiars. However, they don't have a... Guaranteed to be extremely good. I'm going to put Cambian Misconception in the C, and I'm going to put Immaculate Conception just above it in the B tier. No, nah, I'm not going to put it just above it. I do think it's better, but not very much better. This one only just activates when you pick up hearts and gives you Angel Familiars, which is like definitely better. But, and your chance of getting a good familiar like some of these guys down here, like, ooh, but you could get a little brim. It's like, yeah. You could get Incubus, yeah, yeah. 
That's why they're right next to each other, because, like, they're both good, but they're not S here. Curse of the Tower. Curse of the Tower, Curse of the Tower, Curse of the Tower, Curse of the Tower, Curse of the Tower. It's gotta be D. I'm sorry. I, I do appreciate this item. I think it's funny. I think it's cute. I think it has good uses, but... I think I'd rather have Holy Water on my average run. Nah, I'd rather have Curse of the Tower. You're guaranteed to do more damage with this than Holy Water. Alright, Seraphim. One of the better familiars in the entire game. Extremely good, high damage. I'm gonna land you in the B tier, right below Rosary and Miter. Yeah, 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 I don't like that. I really feel like Miter should be above the Relic. I might swap those. Relic is guaranteed, Miter's all luck. Yeah, that's that's a good positioning for them, I can't change them. I gotta break down the actual logic here, because like... Traditionally, I would say Miter is better, because it... Hearts drop more often than you clear rooms, but then it's like, what if they don't drop? Then then Relic is better. Anyway. Guardian Spear. It's better than people think, but it's not very good. Sworn Protector? No, this isn't Sworn Protector. This is, uh... Oh, God, I can't remember his name. Sworn Protector is the fly, right? Uh, whatever this guy is. I, I know who it is. Fast rotation, does damage. Projectiles have a chance to drop Eternal Hearts. Eternal Hearts lose their value very quickly. Um, and so he's not going to be very high, but I do appreciate him for the damage and uh, the ability to suck shots into him. So it's not like you have to like line yourself up. The, the shots actually gravitate towards him. So it's it's definitely very good defensively, but I would not put it too high. In combination with Guardian Angel, it's good. I might be contradicting my familiars list here, but if I am, realize that that, that video is, like, old at this point, and opinions change anyway. Seven Seals! I hate this item. I, I hate this item very much. I hate it a lot. <laughs> I hate it. And I know everybody out there's like, I, I don't like it. What do you want me to do? I don't like it. I don't like the the locust familiars. I don't. They 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 just they, they ain't for me, bud. I, I there's never a moment where I'm gonna look at this item and want to take it. F tier, Gro gross. The prism, thought prism, light prism. It was called thought when it was a mod. It's really good, but it's it's quirky and <sighs> what do we what do we what do we... I would rather have Holy Light, but I would take this over these five. Yeah, that's a good place for it. That's a good place for it. Eden Soul. I love this item. As far as active items in the Angel Pool go, if I don't have a good active item, or if I even have an average active item when I see this thing, I'm taking it nine times out of ten. Very, very, very good item, especially if you have... A plan for it like if you see it and you can immediately think of like all right this is what we're gonna do with it it is an extremely good item uh, even a panic use in a normal room you get two free items it's extremely good I wish people would use it more every time I see people see it in the uh, angel room they get grumpy and I'm like why aren't you taking it uh, duality I mean obviously it's just good it, it, it's it's, it's got to be in the S tier. It's got to be in the S tier. I hesitate to put it up there because it, but it has to be up there. The the cha the ability to choose whether you want to go on angel deals or devil deals depending on what your run needs every time one appears is way better than most people would think. I would actually maybe put duality in the S tier in the god tier. I, 
Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna keep it up there. I'm not gonna put it above the mind or anything. Eucharist is an, another god tier item, and I'm gonna put it above duality. I think Eucharist is one of the best items in the game. Uh, guaranteed angel deals every floor. And if you're looking at these items here, of the items that you're gonna be able to choose from, get noticed. Uh, the glyph of balance. It's so meta. At face value, it's two soul hearts and nothing else. However, if you really dig into the actual details of what the item does, literally it just gives you what you need during the run. <laughs> like, realistically, it's busted as hell, because the, the earlier you pick this up, the better your run's going to be, because it gives you what you need. If you don't have keys, the Glyph of Balance is going to make people drop more keys. If you don't have bombs, it's going to make things drop more bombs. If you don't, if you need HP, like if you're low on health, it makes things drop more health. It's extremely good, uh, but at face value, it's just a free two soul hearts, but it's kind of just works in the background as like a really good item. I love this item. I wish people would actually know the details of it more and they would respect it a bit more. I'm actually going to keep going with uh, angel items. Trisagula Blob. I've grown to really like this item, but I do not think it is as good as everything above it. I think it's I think it's B tier. I think it's above Holy Light. It's above Holy Light because it's piercing, uh, but it's a damage downgrade. I'm going to put it above Holy Light, which pains me to say because Holy Light is one of my favorites, but I'm going to put it above Holy Light. Uh, prayer card. Situationally, really, really, really good. Every other moment you have it, it's just kind of like free HP every run or every room. But given the chance that you probably found it in an angel room rather than an item room, but if you found it in the angel room, your chances of actually needing red HP for the future of that run is limited. So it's just... It's it's a really, really, really bad Holy Mantle, <laughs> if you think about it. It's a really, really bad Holy Mantle, if you think about it. Um, next up, we've got the Void, because it can appear in both pools, which is why there's two Voids here, one for Angel, one for Devil, but because it's just one item, the Void is extremely good, but it goes in the middle of the pack, depending on what you want to use it for. In fact, it goes so far in the middle of the pack, I'm going to put it at the bottom of the B tier. It's an extremely broken item. If you want, if you use it the right way that you want to use it for your run, if you wanted to suck up passive items and hope for stat upgrades, or get a really wicked combo of active items inside of it to use on use, I'm still, eh, you know? The Bible. Because of the fact that it kills two bosses 100% guaranteed with four free, it is very good. And it's flight on every room, which is also good. I'm going to put it at the top of the C tier. I do not quite think it's better than the Void, because you can always use the Void on the Bible. Uh, Tech 9, featuring Zeus and TI, anyway. Uh, but it's it's still good. It's still good. It's not as bad as, you know, some of the other items, but... Next up, we've got... Angel, 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 Excuse me? Angel room. Did they change something? Items. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Where do I find items? Rooms? How do you figure out what the pools? Special room, room pools. Where do I find item pool? Angel room. Load. It's not loaded. Okay. Control find. Mom's key. 
Ain't no mom's key in the freaking pool. Get out of here. What is what is that? The the key pieces? We'll go we'll go with that being the key pieces, because that ain't the that ain't the mom that ain't mom's key. Let's get out of there. They just took the sprite of mom's key, I think. Ain't no mom's key in the angel pool. But I think that's all the angel rooms. Angel room items. Dead Dove, Flight and Spectral Tears, right below Holy Grail. I think Flight and Spectral Tears is good. I'm going to put it above the Holy Grail. I think the HP up is good, but Spectral Tears run lasting. Uh, body, it is the worst of the three, the Trinity. Uh, and I think it's actually so bad, uh, depending on your scenario, I'm going to actually put it in the D tier. I don't like this item. Is good, but eh, eh. Whoever needs three red hearts, come on, get out of here. I mean, there's situations, obviously, but if you walk into an angel room, you don't want three red hearts. Uh, Celtic Cross on damage gets you a chance to get a shield that lasts for 20 seconds, I think, or 10 seconds. No, it doesn't last for 20 seconds, you you imbecile. It lasts for 10 seconds, I think. I don't remember. It lasts for a little bit. It, Virgo, both have the same shielding effect. This one requires you to get hit, though. It is a good defensive item. I'm going to put it above the miter. And by the miter, I mean the, the, the habit. I'm actually going to put it above... No, I'm not. I'm going to keep it below this guy. The key pieces let you fight Megastan... And increase your angel chance... The, the absolute bottom of the whole list, just because on a grand scheme of things, they do almost nothing for you, except for that angel chance is really good, but that's kind of a, you know, we're not going to rank that. We're not going to, we're not going to rank that on that. And then it comes down to Godhead, which goes right below Crown of Light and Sacred Heart as the third of the three best angel items in the game. Godhead is extremely good. It's a, it's a fantastic item. It, it is way too strong for how good it is. All of these three are just way too strong, but they're strong for a reason, because they are the three, one of the three of the best items in the game. Um, yeah, that's, it's, that's that for that. Anyway, moving on to the Devil Deals. Oh my god, we gotta speed this up. We're at 40 minutes. Alright, Spirit of the Night. I said I wasn't gonna talk about what the items did. Alright, Spirit of the Night. Flight. Flight and Spectral Tears. It's gonna go below Dead Dove, because you don't gotta pay for Dead Dove. Book of Belial. Damage up for a room multiplier. Damage up multiplier for a room. This is gonna be really weird to rank these, now that I think about it. Inter inter intertwined with the angel items. I'm gonna have to think about, like, if I went into a room with both of these, would I, <laughs> would I take them? This was a bad idea. That's what we're coming down to. Book of Belial. Ooh, what if I don't rank them in order of where they go on this and this instead of vertical? <laughs> book of Isle is definitely a very good book. I would put it, I would put it up in the A tier somewhere. I'm not sure where. We'll put it there. I think it's in the A tier somewhere. This whole horizontal ranking thing with different items now is weird. Book of Sin is good. I'm gonna put it right next to the Bible. They're both good, but. Their, their effect on a run is kind of meaningless. I'm actually going to put that there as well. Uh, and I think that's all the books for this, other than these two books, which, hilariously enough, I'm going to take the book, the Satanic Bible, and I'm going to put it in the exact same spot. Book of the Dead is extremely good. Book of the Dead actually goes right next to Book of Belial, though. These books are going to just kind of rank off of each other. This is a very weird video at this point. Guppy's Head. Can we just get all the guppy items here real quick? Can we just do all guppy? Guppy. 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 That should be it. That's all of them. Yeah. All the guppy items. Let's do all the guppy items. Alright, from best to worst. Guppy's head. A tier. Somewhere, somewhere next to these. Guppy's collar. A 
partial chance to respawn and literally nothing else other than being a guppy item. Again, because it's a respawn item, it cannot be in the bad tiers, or the bad tier, but because it's not a guaranteed, I'm just going to put it down... I think I'd rather take holy water. Outside of the guppy transformation, I think I'd... These are all off of items. I'm not ranking these on transformations. These are ranking as items. Otherwise, like, certain, certain angel deals would be up higher because they contribute to... Seraphim and some of the devil deals would be higher because they contributed to Leviathan, but as an as an item, I would rather have it's gonna be down here somewhere. Whatever. No one really cares. Guppy's hairball, this would be the same thing. It's trash. Guppy's tail increases the chance of golden chest spawning, but lowers your chance of getting keys. It's kind of a risk reward kind of situation. I'm gonna put it kind of in the middle of the pack. Depending on the amount of keys you have, it's a really good item, depending on you know, if you have no keys, it's extremely bad because you're not getting consumable drops. Because <laughs> it's bad. Nine lives outside of the metagame or inside of the metagame completely changes what this item does. Inside of the metagame, it is probably an A tier next to Guppy's head. Definitely not as good as Guppy's head, but up there. Outside of the metagame, it's just a waste of time because you find it and you go to a hush and you gotta waste time. But I'm gonna put it up next to the head because I think it is very good inside of the metagame, but it is frustrating uh, about 60% of the time and a time waster. Um, and then Guppy's Paw, obviously in Rebirth, it is not... It's still good. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's bad. It's at the top of the D tier. But, like, this item was broken as hell and overpowered, and it would be up in the top five items in the game. Uh, if this was Wrath of the Lamb, because you didn't have a health limit in Wrath. Now you have a 12 heart health limit, so this is basically pointless at this. At once, you use it once or twice, and then you get rid of it. You try to get rid of it. Uh, the Razor is up in the upper A tier. This is one of my favorite Devil Room active items in the game. I, I love this item. Uh, with Eve as an Eve start. One of the best items. This is... It is so good. And I have shown how good the Razor is multiple dozens of times. And people are still like, it's bad. It hurts you. Like, yeah. It hurts you. And it makes you melt shit. <laughs> uh, anyway. We need to go deeper. Uh, as a panic button? D? Anything else? F tier? I, I just... I, I don't care about this guy. Speed running? Sure. But like... Again, I'm not talking to a bunch of speedrunners here. And if I am, like, you rate it higher. You have access to the list. It's on Tier Maker. Get out of my game. Let's just do all the get out of my games real quick. These are going to be easy. Get out of my game. I would like to say get out of my game for you, boy, but unfortunately you're actually kind of decent. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. Get out of my game. No, you're not getting out of my game. You're F tier, though. <laughs> not quite get out of my game. There's not very many get out of my games. All right. The nail. Ooh. I don't know if you're ready for this one. The nail S tier. Ooh. But where? Above the wafer, below the sensor, probably. The nail is one of the best items. It's, it's, I love this item. It's been good since goddamn it was added in, in the first like vanilla Isaac. It was, it's been good since it's been added, man. Stop sleeping on the nail, man. It's so good. This is like... Get out of my game. <laughs> get out of my game. Like, the thought pro... You know what? Just go to F tier. Like, don't quit. Get out of the game, but I'm never going to take you. You're actually... I'm going to take you over this, even. Because you give me familiars I care about. <laughs> Brother Bobby. Rating it as an item itself. Kind of, kind of bad. Sister Maggie ranking as an item itself, kind of bad. Kind of, kind of bad. Uh, Sin Robes is a S tier item, and I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it above the wafer, below the nail. Damage up, HP, 9 times out of 10 it's going to be free from Devil Deals. Incredible item. 
Uh, contract from below doubles all consumables and or drops per room. Very good item. Slightly overrated, but very good item. I would say... A tier. A tier item. Dark Bum, A tier item, but where at? I think I'm going to put Dark Bum just below the Relic. Uh, Fear Shot, and also known as Dark Matter, which is Fear Shot plus damage. I don't like Fear Shot. I'm not the only person in the world that doesn't like Fear Shot. I actually have to adjust to my chair, excuse me. I don't like Fear Shot, but I will always take it if I can due to the damage upgrade, but on a functional basis, I'm going to put it probably somewhere down here. It's not Sin Robes, but it's definitely better than a lot of the other stuff. Uh, Demon Baby is quite good. I'm actually going to put Demon Baby at the... probably up here with Seraphim. I like Demon Baby quite a bit. Rapid Fire. Short range, but rapid fire damage. Gimby is good. But it's really good as like a... I don't know. Gippy's really good for like... There's not really a moment you don't want Gimpy, but like paying a heart for Gimpy when I see let's just put it like I'm just gonna put it in the goddamn middle of everything. This is always good. It's just always good. There's no negative effects to it. Like you pay a red heart for it, and then from then on, anytime you take damage, you have a chance to drop the heart. You know, Gimpy, you get to go up in the A tier. You Gimpy, you get to go above the relic. And you get to go nah, you don't get to go above Scapular. Scapular's still better than you. But you get to go up here. You get to go up here, Gimp. Goat head goes up with Eucharist, but not... Nope. Go above Eucharist, thank you. This one, 100% angel deals every floor. This one just guarantees you that door is going to be open, whether it's angel or devil. So these three work together in a way like duality plus goat head is the same as... Or isn't the same as duality plus Eucharist. Actually, it is the same as duality plus Eucharist, but Eucharist on its own guarantees you to get only angel deals this one opens up the door regardless so if you have angel precedent this is going to open it up but I, I weigh angel rooms and devil deals kind of equally so they can kind of just all intermingle with each other but duality is better than both of them <laughs> uh, we already did the void headless baby and hang down with your buddy, buddy here rotten baby rotten baby's going to be up in god tier boy Run, baby is he's the real G best familiar in the game I don't care what anybody says uh, missing page two as far as I remember this one just like it's really just an HP upgrade it's a it's a black heart it does something with the double boss fights that I always forget which way it goes to it either gives you more double boss boss fights or it reduces the chance of getting double boss fights but Either way, it's a it's a black heart. It's 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 D tier or it's D tier. It can hang out down here with the freaking guppies guppy guppy items. Pentagram is just flat damage because it's just flat damage. I can't put it way too high, but uh, it's still extremely good. Still very good. It's flat damage. It's not a ton of damage, but. You're not going to get mad when you see Pentagram. And most people would pay a Red Heart for a damage upgrade, but if you're going to pay Red Heart for a damage upgrade, you might as well pay for one of these boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just the worst of the one Red Heart damage deal. Or damage ups. But it's not bad, by any means. Sag Dagger. Sag Dagger gets to go up... Uh... Yeah, above the rest of the defensive items. It is. It is... Right next to Ron Baby, but Ron Baby is king. No, 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 no. That's that's how it's gonna work. Ron Baby's the best f traditional familiar, but Sag Dagger's just like Soul, Sack Dagger. There's, these three are just so. 
We'll just call these three a tie. Because I can't, my brain can't, can't comprehend that. The Mark. Let's get the Mark and the Pack together. The interchangeable, they're, they're, they're twin, twin items. The Mark is a Soul Heart and a damage upgrade, a significant damage upgrade, mind you. So this one gets to go up by, uh, go up by Sin Robes, but it's not quite as good. Pact goes up probably, probably there. I wouldn't go put it over guaranteed rooms because having these gives you a higher chance of getting the Pact in the first place. But the Pact is a 2 HP increase, damage, and tears. What are the best devil items in the game? I would argue it is... If you remove the overpowered items from the game, like... Which we'll get to. <laughs> it is the, the best. Uh, Horror Babylon. Love this item. Uh, very situational, though. I'm gonna put Horror of Babylon... Having no HP, it kind of works in unison with like the whole like scapular gimpy kind of deal because it's like, eh. If you can maintain permanent horror Babylon, it's 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 gonna change your run for the way better. So I'm gonna put it above. We'll put it right there. Athame. Athame. Let's get Athame and Maw the Void together. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me, streamer, where's Maw the Void? There is no Maw the Void on this, I can't help but notice. Oh my god. Alright, let's let's treat. There's no Maw the Void, but you got four voids? My dude. All right, Maw the Void is going to be replaced by this other Void. Maw the Void and Athame go hand in hand. But Athame gives you a higher chance of getting Black Hearts. Maw the Void gives you a lower chance of getting Black Hearts. Athame requires you to get hit. Maw the Void is a AoE Ring of Damage. They are both equal in my mind as S tier items. They are both equal in my mind and I will not hear otherwise they're, they're interchangeable. Like, Athame gives you a chance of getting your, your health back in a good way, whereas Maw the Void just prevents you from getting hit in the first place. They're both extremely good. The The debate of which one is better is not is pointless to me, because they're exactly the same item. They just work in different ways. Black Powder is not exciting, but it is very good. Uh, as a defensive item, I'm going to weigh it kind of the same as these guys. Because it's you're, you're, the amount of effort you have to put into using it with a good enough speed stat and that that is, there's a whole lot of stuff that goes into it, but it is good. Uh, empty vessel is just like disgustingly good. Uh, empty vessel is gonna go up below rotten baby. This item is too good. If you have no red hearts, you get permanent flight, and every 40 seconds you gain a shield. It's just like, pfft. and on pickup you get health. It's like, it's just way too good. It's like packed without the tears up and gives you flight. It's it's extremely good. Uh, multi-dimensional baby. I don't like you. I'm gonna put you with these guys. No, I'm not. You're you're actually good. I'm gonna put you next to headless baby. You're good. You just require me to do things. I don't like doing things. My shadow. Get out of my game. I didn't even see you there. Get out of my game. Okay, succubus incubus. Let's get these guys together. Incubus goes up and hangs out with Ron Baby. Succubus goes some dif distance below. <coughs> My throat is dry. It has still been an hour. I was hoping to get this done in an hour, and we are actually going to get it done in an hour. Watch this nonsense. Hmm, Succubus. It is better than Circle of Protection. Trinity Shield. It is not better than Trinity Shield. Which then makes me move Circle of Protection down, which is weird. This is where it gets strange, is because Succubus is better than 
circle of protection, but it's not better than Trinity Shield. So I'm gonna actually have to swap those around there. This is one of the better defensive items in the game, but it's not top tier defensive items. Uh, but it also does offense, so it's 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 up there. Uh, we got Death's List. Way too meta for me. I don't want to think about it. It's really good. When it's good, it works, and it's pretty good. Uh, where's another item that when it works, it's good? Let's put it next to Dead Sea Scrolls. When it works, it's really good, but outside of that, it's just kind of eh. Uh, Shade is goofy. Uh, him and him and Dead Bird can kind of go together, hand in hand. Because they're, they're just like, let's do these familiars. Okay, Lil Brim. Lil Brim, you can go hang out with... You can go hang out with Dark Bum. You and Dark Bum can just chill together. I actually think Dark Bum is better than you, though. Uh, Dead Bird, not quite as good as the Bird Foot Trinket. It's still pretty bad. I'm going to put it down with Sister Maggie and Brother Bobby. Shade gets to hang out in the same place as those guys. It is good, but it's like... I don't know. It's just kind of like passive damage over time as long as an enemy's touching it, so it's not like it's worse. So I'm gonna actually put you next to Headless Baby because it's kind of the same same exact item, just reskinned. <laughs> really it is, if you think about it. Uh, Abaddon. Abaddon. Whichever way you pronounce it. This item is way too good. Uh, you get to hang out right there, bud. This is disgusting. Why are you so good? Disgusting. Very good. Would I take it over mapping? Yes, because with this item, you don't need to know where you're going. You just shoot things. <laughs> Brimstone. It's a moment everybody's been waiting for. Brimstone. Save Brimstone, actually. Let's save Brimstone. Let's make people wait for these two items, I guess. I didn't make them wait for these three, but let's make them wait. Death Touch. Damage, tears downgrade, piercing, crowd control. Very good, very, very good. Uh, I don't think it's the best damage upgrade, obviously, in the Devil Pool, or the Angel Pool, rather. The question is... I'm going to split the difference here, and it's going to go between Sin Robes and the Mark. It is an S-tier item. I'm not going to deny that. It is an S-tier item. Judas Shadow! Judas Shadow gets to go hang out right above Holy Mantle. It is it is a top five, wink wink, nudge nudge, top five item in the game. It is way too good. I would actually consider putting it over Godhead uh, if it weren't for the fact that Godhead is extremely good. <laughs> not that not, uh, Judas Shadow is bad, but the difference between those two is sizable. Anyway, we got Lord of the Pit. It's just, it's literally flight. Literally just flight. So let's find the Bible and put it above the Bible. <laughs> it is good, but it is almost a waste of a devil item. Uh, in my opinion, of course. Feel free to leave your comments on what you think below. I'm not gonna listen to this uh, this song. That song is too hype for me right now. I don't have the I don't have the blood pressure for that song right now. I think that puts us down to just these these last three. And I'm not gonna lie, these are these are big three. These are the big three for the Devil Room. Where are they gonna go? What order are they gonna be in? If we are rating them as an item, nothing else. Synergies out the book, like everything else. We're rating it as an item. What does this item do for my run by itself? What can it do? How good is it? We'll start with Mom's Knife. Mom's Knife comes above Godhead. Mom's Knife goes above Godhead. It is... Very good. Very, 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 very good. Uh, it is It is broken, disgusting. It is... Very good. It goes above Crown of Light. It is... It is... I don't use it because I don't find it very fun, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's gross, grossly overpowered. Uh, Aya Belial gets to hang out 
I would put Aya Belial, it's so good, it's really, really good, but I would put Aya Belial probably somewhere... It's like Death's Touch Plus. It's just the better, it's just like the daddy version of Death's Touch. I think I'm going to put it in God tier. Below the Pact, because I do value the Pact way more. But it is disgustingly good. I Belial is extremely good. Uh, and then yeah, Big Daddy, the last one. The final item of the Angel and Devil Room rankings. Brimstone, brimstone, brimstone. As an item by itself with nothing else. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. It's hard to rank Brimstone without synergies because, like, you have to think about the synergies, right? Mapping or brimstone, like mapping or brimstone. Brimstone over mapping. I think I take brimstone over the mind. And I think that's it. The rest of this shit is garbage and we don't need to pay attention to it. And remember, this is not the void. This is the void. This is Maw of the Void. Because for some reason they didn't have Maw the Void on the list. And if there's another item missing, please feel free to let me know. Obviously I didn't really curate this before I did it, but... I think that's a fair enough assessment of the items in the game. If there was an overpowered item outside of Maw the Void that isn't missing, I would be... I would revoke my Isaac spokesmanship. Um... I'm very comfortable with this list. I'm very comfortable with this ranking. Obviously, some of these would be changed around depending on how your run is going, what items you also have with them. Uh, for the sake of the fact that, like, if you have a good synergy going for it, Hora Babylon is, like, just extremely good. I would put it much higher. Obviously, if you have, like, Dull Razor, Atame is amazing, right? It's like, there's, there's obviously going to be situations where these are going to be great or worse than they could be. But this is just my ranking, and if you guys want to rank them yourselves, just go to Tier Maker. Rank it yourselves. Let me know where I fucked up. Let me know if my spicy takes were too spicy for you. And uh, until the next time, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, of course, you know what to do. You can like the video. Shows YouTube that people enjoyed it, and it'll show it'll, YouTube will show it to more people. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. Watch some of my other stuff. And then... Uh, come over to my Twitch channel where I might be doing some tier maker rankings live or just playing random video games. I stream all the damn time, especially now that this quarantine stuff, I stream all the time. Swing over there. Twitch.tv slash Bentyber. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.